Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the wood shop, and well, this is really an awkward situation because I'm sitting inside the cabinet that we built in the last video because we were doing a photo shoot. I thought it'd be funny to climb in here and do photos. Anyway, we're going to be building a little drawer that's actually going below right now where I'm sitting. So we're going to probably get into that build process. So I'm going to hand off the camera right now to this guy right here on the other side of the glass. I got all my sizes figured out. I got this awesome hardware we're going to be using for this drawer. It's under my hardware. It's got a soft closer feature on it. Man, that is sweet. It's awesome. So what we're going to be doing is cutting some plywood right now and start making this drawer so we can store our paint cans. take them over to the router table and put a groove in them so that we can put the bottom panel in but before we do that we have to kind of tell you what's going on so I have this piece right here which is part of the hardware situation and we got to make sure it goes up a half inch so we're gonna put the data around here yeah that should work out pretty nice should work out pretty nice so I'm gonna run over there and start routing these things turned out real clean. But the dados turned out real clean and also that half inch lip came out perfect. So our hardware sits on there. Just absolutely amazing. Man, it looks real good. What we're gonna be doing now is actually building the bottom panel. We gotta take some measurements and also we gotta go to the bandsaw to cut out some notches for this part of the hardware so that this drawer works and hopefully it does. So let's just get right into it. Right, guys so we finished up on the bandsaw and also cut out that bottom panel for this drawer what we're gonna do now is actually put some pocket holes in and get this thing all assembled and finished so we can put the hardware on and slide it in the cabinet and see what it looks like Okay guys, so we did finish up screwing this whole box all together. Hey, it's hey, looking hey, pretty hey, nice. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, camera. I gotta switch the cameras. Gotta, gotta switch the cameras. Hold on, hold on. Okay guys, so basically what's happening right now, box is all screwed together, all good to go. And we got this nice little fancy box right here. And it's pretty looking, it's looking pretty good. I mean, and it's perfect. What? It's got everything we need it in really there. It really does. So it's a little jig right here. And basically what it's gonna allow us to do is as I can show you guys right here in this corner, is we're gonna take it, place it right inside there. Came with this nice little drill bit. And we're gonna drill out these two little holes. So that way we can connect this thing in with all of our hardware. It's gonna be really nice to attach everything real good. So we're gonna get to doing that right now. So we got this drawer right here. It's all installed, ready to go, but not quite finished yet because we gotta put a drawer face on this thing. So we're gonna go over to the workstation right here and kind of show you guys what we have going on as an idea for what we wanna do for this thing right here. 
So what we got is we got our ball eagle right here in the center. We got some stars going around it. And basically we want to make this the face of the drawer over there. It's pretty crazy design. I don't know if this thing's actually going to work, but we're going to give it a try. See if we can make it happen. We got to find some lumber over there and the lumber rack to see what we got. We want to use some walls, some hickory, some different stuff. So let's see what we have and then we'll try to put it together and show you guys from there. to the top and then it's all liquid and then it doesn't glue because it's not properly blended. So we gotta stir it up. We need clamps, guys. I think we need clamps under here and like uh, right about now. Okay, guys, so the clamps are there now. So what we have to do is we gotta glue it up. So we took that board out of the clamps. It's over there, finished, it's sanded, it's perfect, ready to go. So what we're gonna be doing now is actually taking this bald eagle design right here, sticking it on this walnut and cutting it out on the scroll saw. No CNC's here. So we just finished up cutting this panel out on the table saw and the problem is we can't really do pencil layout so what I had to do is actually cut out a circle so that we can use this to shoot all the stars on. So basically this, the circle is going to go right on top of that circle and then the star is going to go there. We're going to finish these stars and then we're going to shoot them right on and that's pretty much it. We're going to take that panel too and go over to the router table and do a round over around the entire perimeter, make it look really nice and then we'll shoot on that bald eagle.
roasted toasted on the router table. Man, it sure did. Check it out, guys. You guys can see right there. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty it's, roasted it's, toasted. It's pretty burnt, man. I think we need to get ourselves some new bits around this shop. Probably, but you know what? It's rock maple, so what can you expect, It right? is rock maple. I mean, it is one of the hardest woods on, and beats up our, our blades all the time, but, you know, oh well. attaching the design to the face panel. So what we're gonna be doing is taking a drawer out of the cabinet and actually putting some laminate on top of that plywood to cover it up. And then we're gonna be attaching the face panel to the drawer, sliding in and putting on those paint cans. Now we got this thing all finished up. As you guys can see, we opened it up right there. We got all of our paint cans inside. Those things have been a pain. They've been all over the shop. As you guys saw, that box has just been floating around being really annoying. So finally happy to have a place to store those guys right there. So what we're doing in the next part of the build is actually this weird looking thing over here. What we're going to be doing is creating a weird angle can. Angle can. <laughs> really difficult, really tricky. We're not really sure how we're going to do it. I know you got a lot to do with that. Man, it's going to be a challenge. Oh but man. We're really looking forward to that so be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for that video drop a like down on this one if you enjoyed if you have any questions comments anything like that always leave them down below but just like that guys we're gonna roll that outro